First of all add a layer. Select Concept Pencil from Pencil Folder. First of all, draw basic structure of head, body, arms, and legs. Draw these basic structure according to the posture of your character. Try to draw them in line and also notice the angle and length of arms, body and legs. Now draw the basic structure of hat. After you are done with basic structure, then add details using this basic structure. Lower the opacity of this layer and add a layer above it. Select the concept pencil from pencil folder and now draw the details using basic structure. Start with the nose a little bit away from the center. Draw sleeve using basic structure. It should be loose and flappy. And draw another sleeve according to the posture. I am starting with the shoe first and then going ahead to leg. Delete the lower layer. Lower the opacity of this layer and add a layer above it. Go to Pen Folder, select Fine Liner. Go to Settings of this pen, scroll down and, and tap on Size Graph, tap it again and set the graph of this pen in this direction. And then tap OK. This is Modified Pen better than tapered inker. Now outline the structure using fine liner from pen folder. It is modified pen as I mentioned at the start of the video. 
This is better than tapered inker because tapered inker gets thicker with the stroke. While it does not and it has tapered ends too. If your lines are not smooth, use Lazy Tool to overcome this problem. Lazy Tool helps you to draw sooth lines. Do not just go after perfection just the best you can. Try to outline the structure using one stroke. It will give you the best results. Delete the rough sketch layer and change the background layer. Now add a layer above outline layer. Add color to some parts using monoline brush, this is the basic thing, you can add color as you wish. After adding colors, add a layer below the colored layer and lower the opacity of layer. Select modified fine liner from pen folder, keep its size bigger. Now let's do the light shadow first. Light shadow is in the form of creases of shirt mostly. Add creases according to the direction of clothing.
Now add some shadows to face. Go to color layer. Add some detail in shoes and other parts. For dark shadows, add a layer beneath the color layer and lower the opacity of this layer. For dark shadows, select wet marker from markers folder. Add dark shadows. Add a layer above the color layer and lower the opacity of this layer. To add dark shadows on colors, add shadows to cape in the form of creases shadow. Now merge all the layers. Outline layer is optional. After merging layers select Anchor Transform and reduce the size of Panda to make more room for cloak and bamboo. Add a layer beneath the colored layer now draw the remaining cape and color it. Draw bamboo. Add a layer above the cape and bamboo layer and lower the opacity to add shadows. Add shadows to cape.
and erase the extra part. Adjust the size of marker while adding shadows. After it merge the layer with its structure layer and add a layer beneath all layers and change the blending mode to linear dodge for highlights select the Mirando brush and adjust these settings now add highlights to the background first Then apply the blur filter until it gets smooth. Now add some soft lights. Now add a layer above the color layer. And add also soft light there on the colored part. Select the Proco Pencil from Pencil Folder and add sharp highlights to illustration. And it's done.